welcome back to my channel. Today, we're doing another subscription box because I have an addiction to subscription box and I have a new one for you today. Since I've been reading a lot lately, I decided to get a subscription box for books and the one I decided to go with is Once Upon a Book Club. Let me tell you a little bit about Once Upon a Book Club. It says each box is unique, but it's the details that matter to us. Blah, 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 ship to your door each month, yada, yada. Okay, so the subscription is $49.99 a month, which seems kind of pricey, $50. And hey. But you not only get a book, but you get gifts inside as well. So not only do they have subscription boxes on their site, they have apparel, bath, health, and beauty, just plain books. And then they have other collections as well, like box collections. Um, so Bridgerton is a book series that's super popular right now. So you can get a Bridgerton box, which has a set of, I think there's four Bridgerton books, and then it also comes along with gifts and stuff. So if you just wanna get one, you can do that. They have mystery grab bags. They have a lot more on their site than I knew about. So that is really neat. So one of the reasons I went with Once Upon a Book Club rather than Owl Crate or and one of the other super popular book subscription boxes was because it seemed like the gifts that you get in this box were more usable, I guess, because like Owl Crate, I think is the one that it's called. I noticed that most of their stuff is just like collectible stuff, like cards that, or like a, a plaque of sorts that you can put on your bookshelf and it'll have like an image of a character from a book that you may or may not know because it doesn't necessarily have to pertain to that book. It was, it just seemed like random stuff that was gonna end up in clutter that I do not need around my house. I don't even have a bookshelf yet to be able to put that stuff on, but that's stuff I didn't want. This box in particular seemed like it had more candles and more fun stuff. Now let's just get into the box and I'll explain how the gifts work because it's a really neat system. And by the way, how adorable is the box that it comes in? It looks like a book itself. This month's theme was women in history. The inside of the box, it's so cute with all the writing in it. I'm gonna pull out the little pamphlet. Okay, so each box comes with a little card with a quote on it. This quote is, the world will get better, it must. And then on the other side, it has a note from the author. And then each box also comes with a little bookmark. This also has the V.S. Alexander quote on it from the book, The War Girls, which is the book. I will show it to you in a little bit. And then on the back, it has the rules for how you work this book. So it says to fully experience this box, remember to only open your gifts once you reach the given page. I'll explain that in a minute. I'm so excited. Okay, so then we get a little pamphlet. Conversation with V.S. Alexander. What expired to, to write this story? What do you think makes The War Girls different from any other World War II novel? A bunch of stuff. And then on the other side, it has discussion questions. So if you want to be in a book club with somebody else or just whatever, you can discuss it together. I think this would be fun for me to put the discussion questions in the description box. So if you've read this book as well, or if you plan to, then we could start a discussion in the comments about this book. That'll be fun. I love talking to people about the books that I read. And then on the back, you get a recipe. This is for strawberry cake. So that's kind of cute. Just a little extra inner. Okay, I'm gonna pull out the book itself next. Oh, this is it. It looks so pretty. It's pretty hefty too. I like it. So it's obviously called The War Girls by V.S. Alexander. On the front it says, in the depths of World War II, sisterhood is the key to survival. And uh, this book is so beautiful. Look at the pages. It's got little airplanes flying around. <gasps> so cute. The interior's got a map in it. And then the cool thing about this is, um, by the way, these are all new books, like just coming out and stuff. So you can get them in bookstores and whatnot, but you're more likely to have not read it yet. So I think that's cool. Um, but each of these books is different than what you would buy at the store, as far as I know. Like you cannot get this exact copy anywhere else except Once Upon a Book Club. Your copy in the store will look different. I'm pretty sure that's the way it works. 
So anyways, on the actual hardcover itself, it's a super soft hardcover, but then you've got the gold foil and I just think it's so beautiful. So there's a little parachuter and yeah, I love it. I'm not gonna tell you exactly what it's about yet because I am gonna do a brief overview after I finish this book, which will be in this video, don't worry. But let me explain to you how the gifting works real quick. So in this box in particular, there looks like there's four gifts. So here's one, this is for page 182. This one's for page 11, page 261, and page 95. So the way it works is you are not supposed to open any of the gifts until you reach that specific page. So let's turn to page 11. Here we are. And inside we have a sticky note and it is overlapping a sentence. So that sentence will have to do with your gift. So once you reach the sticky note, it says open your gift. So you open the gift pertaining to page 11. How exciting. So the point of gifting and opening them up when you're on a certain page is to help you feel more involved in the book. I guess, um, help you experience it in a different way. Like you're part of the book. You're getting a gift that has to do with something with the book, if that makes sense. It's just supposed to enhance your reading experience. So I think that's very neat. What I'm gonna do now is pause you here because I'm gonna start reading the book. And as I get to each page to open the gift, I will stop what I'm doing and start recording and film my reaction to opening the gift. And I will also read the line because I don't think it's gonna be any spoilers, but I will read the line for the gift itself. And then at the end, I will give you a brief overview of the book and my thoughts on it. So yeah, I hope you're excited for this. Cause I am. So I'm gonna start reading, I guess. I might as well do it now. The first gift's on page 11, so let's get started and figure out the first gift. I forgot to mention, this is actually July's box. So each box ships at the end of the month and I signed up for this in early July. So I paid right away and I didn't get my box until like, I think it was Friday or Saturday. That would have been August. 19th or 20th and it was supposed to be shipped out July 28th. Um, I did have to email them and let them know because they sent me a tracking number and everything. And I kept uh, checking it and nothing was happening. There was no updates, it wasn't moving. So I did have to email them and they were very quick with the response of, oh, I'm so sorry, I don't know what happened, like whatever, we're just gonna use that same tracking number and we will resend the box. So they did and it came very quickly after that problem solved. So hopefully I can read this though, get it done pretty fast because my next box should be coming soon. Yeah, cause it's late August now. So they should be start shipping soon for the actual August box. It's not my favorite that they ship at the very end of the month, but I guess it's not a big deal. So anyways, this is July's, just wanna let you know. Okay, I'm gonna read again. Thanks, bye. Okay, I've made it to page 11, which means our first gift. Already 11 pages in, I'm really liking it. One of the first pages already almost brought me to tears. Here is my little sticky note. So I will read to you the little thing says, and then we'll guess what the gift is and open it. I'm gonna read the whole paragraph so you have a little bit more context rather than just the sentence that it's on. He left the balcony and returned to the table to find Perla, her face flushed and her eyes red with tears sitting beneath it across from Aaron, both huddled against it heavy oak legs. Their faces were barely visible through the airy handiwork of the lace tablecloth. Israel got down on his knees and slid between them. Okay, so the sentence it was on is, their faces were barely visible through the airy handiwork of the lace tablecloth. So my guess with that sentence is it's going to be a lace tablecloth, you know. Here's page 11. It's so cute and it's just a nice little, little sack. And look at that. I think we got a tablecloth. So on here, says a crochet table runner, hand wash only. It is a 9.5 inch by 71 inches. And then it says their faces were barely visible through the airy handiwork of the lace tablecloth. So it's got the quote from the book and it's all wrapped up nice and cute. Am I gonna use this ever? I want to unwrap it because I wanna see what it looks like. Am I ever gonna use this tablecloth? 
honestly. It's not in my decor realm, so I don't know that I wanna open it up. <laughs> um, only because if I'm not gonna use it, I could gift it to somebody who would use it. You know what I mean? So I am going to just put it away for now and uh, we'll, come, we'll come back to it. I, I don't know, maybe if I can find a place for it. It's cute, I like it. I mean, it's not that I don't like it, it just doesn't match my decor, that's all. So anyways, see you back in a little bit for gift number two. Okay, I have made it to page 95 where the next sticky note is for the gift. So in this paragraph, it says, I understand, Rita said, rising from her chair. She opened her purse, withdrew a business card, and handed it to Hannah. That is pretty much the line that the sticky note was on. So page 95, we will open gift 95. This is the one with the really cute packaging. I think it's a clutch, like a purse. I think that's what it is. The little brown faux leather little clutch. And it's got a cute, really cute lining. There's a pocket in there, two pockets. And then, oh, it's a business card because in the next line, hold on, let me get back to the page. It said something about blah, blah, blah. She opened her purse, withdrew a business card, and handed it to Hannah. Okay, yeah, that's in the line that I read. Cool. Here's a little clutch wallet thing and then a business card. It says to assist with the war effort and then it has a little address on it. I think it's cute. I don't know that I will use it. I mean, maybe. It's cute. I've never used a clutch before, but it's nice. That is the next little gift so far. Uh, the book is getting pretty good. I mean, it's a pretty, it's an easy read for the most part. I'm discovering that I don't know that I like the way the author writes necessarily, but I will keep you updated and I'll see you on the next gift page. Okay, I'm back and I am ready for our next gift opening. I did find a little piece of paper with a note on it inside the book. It kind of slipped out. I found the page that it belongs to, but then I lost it again. I think it's coming up here soon. There's like a little quote. Oh, I think that's it. In the book, it must be written on a piece of paper. So then they give you the piece of paper with the actual note on it, but I've been using it as a bookmark. So anyways, we are on page 182. So I'm just gonna read the sentence that pertains to this, and then we'll open the gift. She thanked him, said goodbye, and headed for the tube. She tipped the umbrella backwards, letting the cold drops fall onto her face, watching the clouds' dreary tails scud overhead. So that is the sentence. I guess my only guess would be an umbrella. Oh, it might be an umbrella. It's long enough, so this is the box. It's got little airplanes on it. How cute. This is page 182. It's an umbrella, isn't it? If it is, I'm gonna be happy because I don't have an umbrella. It is. How practical. It's pink, which is adorable. Again, it has a little tag on it. Okay, but the quote they use on this one is, she shivered and shook her head. There was no turning back now. Okay, at the very end of that paragraph, it does say that, but I mean the umbrella reference. It's not on here, so it's not a big deal. Anyways, so it's got a little up down button. Let's push it. Oops, ouch, that about broke my nail. So oh, there's a case on it. <gasps> Ooh, it says something on it. She was stronger than the rain, is what it says. This is cute. It says it on two sides, and then the inside is black and it's pink. This is really nice. It's not like a cheapo umbrella. Like this is uh, this is sturdy. I can't get it shut with my nails. Eee! Well, that was fun. I think that was a good gift to have in here. It's a very practical gift. It's something that, I mean, I will definitely get use out of it. I don't have one right now. And even if you had an umbrella already, I mean, I guess it doesn't hurt to have another umbrella. <laughs> I don't know. I think this is cute. This is a really cute idea. I'm happy about it. Cool beans. We only have one more left, so I guess I will see you when it's time to open the next one. Okay, bye. I am cold. The last gift note is on page 261. The sentence is, even in the dim light, she could see that her hair appeared somewhat lighter in the black and white photo, cut shorter and swept back from her face. My only guess would be a photo. Here it is, page 261. It's a cute little box. <gasps> is it a passport, like a fake passport? I don't know if you like me guessing what it is or if you just want to know, but I like guessing. Yeah, because the sentence before it is she brought it to the candles and saw her newly manufactured German passport. So. I like the passport. Oh, how cute. It says, don't look back. You're not going that way. And it's a little passport holder. So in the inside, you've got a little pocket here 
little, little pocket with two other like little card holders and then it's blank with the, the little quote on the front with like a floral look to it it's cute and then we have a passport this is so cute like a fake passport um so it's on german so i can't read it but it has a photo of i guess what she's supposed to look like this is the outside and then inside you've got all your information and then the photo of her how cute is this I think this is a cute little touch, again, to bring you more into the book as you're reading that page and then you get to look at this and like see what she's seeing. I think that's really, really neat. And then for yourself, you get a little passport holder. So I think that's adorable, more of the practical item, I guess, and then the fun item. This, I will probably keep in with the book, start using this as a book bargain baby. But it's so cute, I love that. Aw. Cool. Okay, now that we have the last gift done, I have not officially finished the book yet, but I am getting close and I do just want to close it off here, give you a few little details about the book, no spoilers or anything, but let you know my thoughts on the book. I guess. It's a historical novel about two sisters, one living in Warsaw and one living in England. It starts out bouncing back and forth between three different main characters and they're all women and their roles and what is happening to them. The sisters themselves are both Jewish so it goes on about like their family and how they're all affected and what's happening throughout the story and then there is the the third woman that it follows, the third main woman, because there's a lot more women in it, is not Jewish and she is helping the family or doing the best she can to help the family. And so it's showing the struggles that she's having with her inner struggles of wanting to do more and not being able to do certain things, but doing as much as she can without being killed. I have been annotating and marking in the book um, as much as I can. Sometimes I forget my tabs and my pens and stuff, but I do highlight and tab in my books. I did have a system worked out with the colors of the tabs at first, but then I kept forgetting because normally I write it down because each book is different. So you're going to want different tabs. My strategy was like things that I loved, things that like were sad or made me angry or something like that. Things that really stick out to me is usually what I will highlight and tab and annotate on. This book is, I mean, it's, it's so heartbreaking. Everything that's written in this book when something happens it's it makes it even worse because or even more sad because it genuinely happened <laughs> like these are fictional people in this book yes but the things that happened to them happened to real people so like it grabs at my heart anyways i'm basically rambling i do so far i can't give it a full rating because i am not done with it so far i think it's a five or not a five star i'm not rating it five stars i would probably give it four stars if it continues to be as good of a book as it is however I do not like the author's writing style. Since there are three main people that you go back and forth from, he does not, like typically you would switch chapters when you switch perspectives of a person, but in this book, that is not how it goes. So what he does instead of breaking the characters up by chapters is he just separates it by small paragraphs. So this paragraph, as soon as this one ends, then this paragraph is a new person for a while. So it's hard for me to distinguish because you are, you've been reading about one person for a long time and then all of a sudden in the next paragraph, you're talking about a whole new person. So then I have to read the beginning sentence or paragraph like five times because I'm so confused of, wait, what just happened? Oh, we're talking about a new person here. And I hate that. I can't stand that. It, it just, it makes it too confusing. That, that's my biggest complaint so about trying to read this book. But other than that, the story itself is fantastic. I'm not done with it, so I can't say a whole lot. But so far, everything has been really good. It's a great story. I do recommend checking out this book if you are into, well, one, if you like historical novels. Also, if you like strong women in books. It's got some strong women in it. It's got a lot of strong characters, honestly. If you want to cry, it's a good book to cry to because there's a lot of little pieces that can make you cry. That is that. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do want me to do a more in-depth like review of the book after I've actually finished it, please let me know. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel and we'll see you in the next one. Okay.
Thanks. Bye.